Hello Libra, welcome to your gratitude reading for November the 10th through the 20th. So we're going to do something a little different this week and you are going to have homework. So I want you to take a piece of paper, not on the computer or not just in your head, but written on a piece of paper, everything you can think of that you are grateful for no matter how small. And then at our next reading, we are going to do something with that. Okay, so let's go on to our reading here. You got the Burkana rune, the rune of love, Labradite, slayer of darkness, and bringer of light. Here we go. Helps to direct your energy, seek out your purpose, clears and protects the aura, and brings transformation. Then we have turquoise, communication, problem solving, and speaking your truth. We have Amazonite. The playmate, the hope stone, brings fluidity, optimism, removes toxicity, and helps you release things that are not good for you. Your stone people card is spider medicine, weaving your web one strand at a time. We have Buffalo as your spirit animal, you lucky ducks. Or I should say lucky buffaloes. <laughs> buffaloes are all about abundance, and they also remind you not to be wasteful. Sign and symbol card, the sun. Wow. You have some really good stuff here already. Your Four Agreements card is Cultivate Faith. To have great faith is to have great power because your intent, your will is undivided. When your word isn't dissipated by doubt, the power of your word becomes even stronger. Self-doubt is one of the things that is holds people back more than anything else. Oh, we have the great mystery. Um, this card is pretty complicated. There is a deeper look video on this to explain it more in depth. But it says that you need to drop the shame, blame, and regret you are where you are in your life because of the choices that you have made. Oh, look, we have another sun. Enjoy success and happiness. Wow, that's great. The sun is one of the most powerful cards, and you have got two of them. Sister Moon says, it is a time for healing. Dolphin Spirit reminds you that this and that are true. That everyone has their own truth and they should be allowed to have it. You have your own truth and your own beliefs and other people should be allowed to have that as well. We have the war bonnet, advance. If you've had, uh, if you're, if you've been holding back on something, it's time to move forward. The arrow says to to uh, surround yourself with protective energy. Sister Moon says, don't let your past hold you back. That's what Buffalo is telling you as well. Don't be wasteful. There are things from your past that you learned. Lessons 
that you learned. Use them. Don't let them hold you back. We have Canary Spirit. Yay! Sing your own song. Be yourself. Coral. Nurturing. Nurturing others, but also nurturing yourself. The Oracle says to wait for important information. If there's a big decision coming up, you want to wait um, for additional information. It is a time to give rather than take. That's what nurturing is also telling you. And fox spirit. Think on your feet. Darn it. Fox or coyote in the cards means there will be some kind of a disruption, a bump in the road this week. And it looks like at the uh, end of this time period. Okay, so we're going to place our rune is the um, rune of love. And I'm going to put that on the sun. Then we have Labradite, Slayer of Darkness and Bringer of Light. We're going to put that one on the other sun. Those cards are so powerful. Then we have our turquoise, which is all about communication and problem solving. So I'm going to put that one on the fox, where the disruption will be. The turquoise will help you to solve that problem. Okay, and then we have our amazonite, the hope stone. Um... It also helps with release, fluidity, and optimism. It is a time for healing. Okay, and then we're going to draw our quote for this week. And don't forget your homework. It really is powerful. This exercise is very powerful. So I do hope that you do it. Your quote is, peace of mind is available freely if we drop the three C's, criticizing, comparing, and complaining. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. Peace, love, and light. Until next time.